Okay, now I understand why everyone was doing the Destiel stuff on the fan pages lately. <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review for episode 9 of Supernatural Season 12. We are finally back after the episode 8 cliffhanger where the brothers saved the president from Lucifer, but then they were arrested for having to, or attempted to kill him, and then they were taken away for, to a secret facility. In this episode, we meet two of the Secret Service guys who are interrogating them. One of them is the one who got punked out by the Super Men of Letters guy, and the other one is a new character who actually kind of points out a bit of uncertainty of the situation who actually says you know what maybe we shouldn't be rushing to conclusions I actually liked the dialogue of this guy this guy was probably one of the more interesting random one episode characters that Supernatural has had in a while so the brothers are not being tortured they're just being left in a cell isolation isolation is incredibly drawing on the mind the fact that some people are able to survive it is pretty impressive Yet apparently this was worse than hell. That line was dumb. Really? Hell is not as bad as isolation? Six weeks of you in a cell with yourself? That's worse than being torn apart and ripped apart and eaten away for 30... What was it? He How long was Dean in hell for? 10 years? That, that was dumb. Brothers then somehow fake death, which they don't explain to the end of the episode. So they get out of the prison, which is funny because I predicted that they would either get out at the end of this episode or the beginning of the next one. They get out, they have in confrontations with the Secret Service guys who are chasing them, but they say, you know what, hey, they just straight up say, we saved the president from Lucifer. All the while, Castiel and their mom is kind of having, they're having this deep sort of conversation about Castiel's frame of mind. He feels he's useless, he feels he can't do anything. He talks about a situation that was happening where women were being killed and he couldn't save them. He couldn't even defeat what was there. I actually like this aspect. It reminds me a lot of how Castiel felt about himself in season 8 and season 9. And those were cool episodes. I like the character then. I hope they bring more of this because honestly Castiel is still one of the more interesting characters. I just wish someone would full out list what his powers are right now because I've lost complete track of what he can do now. The episode then ends with probably the actually the most interesting part. We come to the bridge, the car shuts down, and it turns out that the brothers made a deal with Billy, the ever-luminous uh, and ever-present threat of the Reaper who wants to definitely kill Sam and Dean. She's been there since season 11, and this was the part where she said they made a deal that one Winchester would die, and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then the Mary says, you know what, I'll do it. You can take this Winchester life. And again, I was like, wow. I uh, didn't think they'd kill her off that easy quickly. I knew she wouldn't be in it for very long, but I'm surprised at that. And in the end, Castiel stabs her in the back. A bit of an anticlimactic end to something that I actually thought was going to be different. However, then he gives his speech about how the Winchesters mean so much to him, how the world is already as screwed up as it is. It was kind of a little, a little message to keep hope in the darkness that is currently going on. So, that was... It was alright, I, I admit I liked that part too. The episode then ends with the British Men of Letters making contact with Mary and, and listing them in. I don't know why they are so, like, oh, they're kind of apprehensive when you could have tried this, you know, a hundred years ago. That would have probably done better. He does have a cool like, way of communicating back with the Men of Letters in Britain with a typewriter. I thought that was cool. That was a kind of a little nifty little thing. Either way, this episode was predictable, but it was entertaining. There was an aspect of surprise. While sort of a letdown, it was still kind of cool. And I actually liked where one of the character directions was going. There are still a few things that they have to answer, like why is Crowley being a dickwad, really? You know, he kind of just said, you know, they tried to kill me, blah, blah, blah. But either way, I am interested in seeing where this goes. I'm interested to see if they actually can make the British Man Letter something, because now we just got rid of the biggest threat that the Supernatural guys have ever fought. Again, the idea of being fought by the government, but whatever. So we'll see what the big bad is for the end of this season. There's probably going to be some kind of confrontation between the British Men of Letters and the Brothers, but who knows. Either way, guys, that's all from me. I'm going to give this episode a 4 out of 7. It was a good time. It was fun. I do hope this season picks up, though, because as I have said multiple times, the shadow of season 11 is just looming over this thing, and it's going to crush it into the ground if it doesn't do something fast. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. See you guys next time.